For the love of God, man, if you're going to shine up your track, shine up your tires. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. If you're gonna go to the trouble of washing your truck, shining it all up, making it look pretty, don't forget to do your tires. It's a pretty simple thing to do. I'm gonna show you two methods. One, the really, really lazy man's method, which I prefer. And two, a little bit more effort, but not too much. First, before I do that, I am gonna shine up the wheels a little bit. Um, I'm not going to show you that because this isn't about wheel shining. It's about tire shining, but it makes no uh, sense to me to shine up your tires and have them all pretty right on top of dirty, nasty wheels. So let me do that. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about to make your tires look nice and shiny, nice and pretty. Got the wheel all shined up. I've just done one so far, by the way. Uh, let's take a look. You can see there it looks nice and shiny. Look at that. Probably the best it's looked since I've had it. Now, as far as shining up the tires, you know, the whole point of this video, right? I mentioned there's two methods to do it. Uh, the first is this tire foam stuff. I love this because it is very, very simple. Once you've washed your truck, washed your tires and your wheels off, whatever, you know, just with a mitt or whatever, you just spray this stuff on. That's all you gotta do. You can do it dry or you can do it wet. I choose to do it when the tire is wet. You just go around the whole tire with it. You know, psh, I'm not gonna do it in here because frankly, it does make a, a pretty big mess if you overspray it or while it's drying or running off of your tire. But it leaves these with a nice shining glow. Now, that's not the method that we're gonna do now. And I see I forgot to grab the other component of what I need to do this. So we're gonna run back over here to the old cabinet, the cabinet of supplies. And I'm gonna grab this. This is Armor All. Now, I highly don't recommend that you use Armor All on the interior of your vehicle. I've always found that Armor All is kind of like a dust magnet, right? You spray it in there on all your plastic bits and stuff, and it looks really good for about five seconds. And then all the dust and stuff starts uh, forming on top of those nice, clean, shiny surfaces, and it doesn't look so good. Also, it leaves a little bit of a residue, I think. It's a little bit slick. Have you ever bought a, a new car or used car, and they clean it up with this kind of a product? Yeah, it looks good, but once you start touching the surfaces, it doesn't feel so good. However, on your tires, it is awesome. All I do, I take an old waxing pad. You can see I've used this one before. That's why it's black. I'm not using black wax. Um, spray a little bit on and then wipe it around the tire. Now, what you don't want to do is put too much on um, because it will wick off as the tire spins, right? You may have seen some other folks if you I uh, have paid attention having some little looks like shiny droplets of stuff behind their tires. That's because they've put too much stuff on those tires and it just comes off and collects on your paint. So you don't want to do that. You want just a thin coat to shine up the tire. As far as how long it lasts, depending on your driving conditions, you know, I can go for probably about a week um, that you can still see it on there and it still makes a difference. After that, it does start to come off. Of course, if you're going to head out to the trails and you're going to be in heavy dirt and stuff, it's going to last about two seconds. So let me turn this around. I'll show you how I put this on. You can see what the tire looks like right now. We'll get a shot of that. There's the before, if you will. Now, let's go ahead. Let me back up a hair here. See if I can get you guys a shot. Yeah, most of it, I think. Yeah, right there. So, as I said... I just take a little bit of this uh, and spray about half or so of the pad. So about like that, that's it. And then I usually fold it over just to kind of pat it down a little bit and then just start wiping. Now, of course, on these more aggressive tires, you have all these lugs around the edges. 
So you got to kind of get in between. If you had a regular all season tire that was smooth all the way around, uh, it's not that big of a deal. You can easily just go around the edges. It takes about two seconds. So this does take a little bit longer because of all of the lugs. Um, if you want to get the lugs, I mean, you could just do inside the tire, but to me, or inside the lugs, I should say, but to me, that looks a little hokey. I wouldn't do that. Um, so just continuing around, and you can see it doesn't take much effort. We're not cleaning the tire per se. We're just coating the tire with some of this armor all. I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now we're gonna get the meteor part of the tire all around here. Same process, of course, you just wanna kinda wipe it down. That's all you're really doing here is just wiping it down. Again, it doesn't take any effort. We're not scrubbing the tire. We're not trying to take the rubber off or anything. We're just trying to shine her up a little bit. You can already see, I think, what the difference it's making, right? And then we'll get right next to the lip of the wheel. You don't want to get it on the wheel. It will uh, leave a residue on the wheel, obviously, if you get it on there. So, of course, you don't want to do that. Again, making sure that you don't use a ton because you don't want it to wick off uh, on the paint or on the back of the, you know, little piece back here or anything. You just want to, just want to change the color. That's what we're really doing. We're really just changing the color of the, the rubber. Got a little bit on the wheel there. That's pretty easy. It just wipes off. Not a big deal. The other thing I like about Armor All, it does just wipe off, so it's not like you're gonna damage your wheel or anything using this. All right, I think for a quick job, obviously you could get, or try to get inside all the little logs. You could get a toothbrush out and scrub in there. You know, if you're going to a car show or something, or maybe you're doing a photo shoot, and you want it to be just perfect, well, then obviously you could uh, spend more time than what I've spent so far on mine. But I think uh, this stuff is the next best alternative to any of the other cleaners. You know, there are, frankly, about a million different cleaners and things out there that you can get to do this. Um, I hate doing this, to be honest. Uh, I hate washing vehicles at all. Uh, so the easiest way possible is the best way possible for me. So that's kind of why I chose to do this. All right, that really is about it. Again, just a quick job, I think. We'll see how long that took. The video is eight minutes, but it's probably took me about four minutes or so to do that. But check out the finish on the tire now. it just shines and that's with about four minutes of work. So you're talking about 16 minutes or so to go ahead and do this on all four tires. Now, if you're really industrious, you crawl underneath and do the spare as well. Um, if you do that, I'd suggest maybe you seek medical attention because you probably have a problem. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that is, uh, that is how I handle shining up my tires. And again, I think if you're gonna go to the trouble to wash your vehicle, make it look all nice and pretty, why wouldn't you shine up the tires too? Nothing worse than having a nice gleaming shiny truck and nasty looking dirty tires, I think. Leave a comment, let me know if there's another method that's easier. I'm, not, I'm looking for easier, not just an alternative, but easier. Uh, leave a comment and let me know. I am more than open to try something else, but these are the best two ways that I've found so far. And I'll leave links down below to both of these if you're interested in picking some up. Let me know what you think. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator sitting out there. 
And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. Check them out if you're interested. Please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.